All right, guys, if you've been keeping up with us on YouTube, we've uh, already did the disc brake conversion on the front of this car. Yep. We've got the car running, and now we got to get it to stop. So we've ordered a new master cylinder, new brake lines, and uh, today we're going to get started on that. I hope you guys enjoy it. Sir, maybe this thing will stop when you take it down the road because it's about putting it in the ditch. That'd be cool. That'd be great. <laughs> Watch and enjoy. So none of this is on video, but we put a little air cleaner on it. It's cute, it's cool, and it's got a new fuel pump down here because the last video, it was squirting fuel everywhere. I'm hung, let me go. <laughs> All right, so I've got to get, sorry, trying to get in there, get this pin and clevis bracket undone from the pedal so we can slide the old master cylinder out. Oh, sorry, lost focus. Take that off. It's all right. So next, we're gonna start with this old master cylinder, trying to get it off this car. Get it with a little bit of PB blaster here. Make might make it a little easier for us. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and break that line off the front. Yeah, you got the socket over here okay. for it. I believe when we put the new one on there, we're going to have to re relocate the oil filter. Because chances are it's not going to all fit there. Right. Because I ordered a 8-inch uh, dual diaphragm brake booster master cylinder kit with a proportioning valve. After we get the brake situation cleared out, or straightened up, whatever, we're gonna go in and clean this engine bay up. Cause it needs a lot of love, cause it's really dirty. This thing should slide out of the way. Just like that. Out with the old. There we go. It's a hundred dollars. Hundred dollar bit. <laughs> There's that old rod that was in there. The clevis bracket. Well, let's find some new parts. All right, so here's our little kit we ordered for the brake booster. The master cylinder. All that's gonna go in here. All right, guys, we're running to the first issue today. It was an anticipated issue, though. It was, it was. The, uh, this is an oil filter up here on the side of the engine. Uh, it was a dealer add-on option. I don't know how much it was. I don't remember. We looked it up one time. If, if you didn't have this oil filter up here, this motor didn't come with the oil filter. So we got to move it out of the way so we can get the brake booster installed. And it decided to rain, and it's very loud in the shop. Yeah. Uh, sorry for the shitty audio quality.
All right, so our next step is going to be putting these brackets on right here. That holds the brake booster. Things done with boss. So. Yeah, it's <laughs> gonna be on out. But. What's that up, I guess? So that's how the brackets go? I reckon I like it. Yeah, it works. Because you, you, all those rods on the inside are adjustable. I don't know where you needed them set at. So I don't know what that do at. In the, in the car, I guess. Okay, that's cool. We need a half inch. Anything up, let's slide it on again and see what's going on. You gotta get it. I'm gonna get in the inside and set the clutch bracket up to the pedal. I'm just gonna hold it in there and drive that thing in there. Here we go. All right, so we're going we got our test fit, everything where we know where we need it. All the way to the top. All the way at the top where these need to be. Comes a brake booster. Brake booster. I'm gonna slide the rod in. <laughs> Is that it? Yep. All right, put the bolt in this thing here.
so we got our new carpet in the car. No, nah, that's just a rug. <laughs> Let's see, cut the light on. Got our new rod connected for the master cylinder. Or actually brake booster. So now let's head back up front and do it again. All right, so now we're gonna slap the master cylinder on there. This be it right here. We gotta put this piece in there, I think. Right here. Yep. I put our rod extendo. Yep, find it right there. Bam. And that's what we go on here. So it gets made for. We used to have room to work on this thing. Not anymore. It's got all the brakes. Alright, we got a little bit of a redo here. We got a bracket that holds this proportioning valve on. That's it. There's your proportioning valve. There's your proportioning valve. Proportioning. Proportioned. This one too. Hey, it looks good. You got to hit your bolt. You might have to tighten that line up and pull it together. All right, well, we got our lines, got our proportion of valve, got it started. Get these tight right here. Seven sixteenths. I'm looking. There it is. Time. Yes, sir. Seven sixteenths. Time is this one. Two plugs for the back of it. I guess your lines run out your proportion valve. 
Right here? Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's what I would think. Same size like that so once you plug you cap this out. Bigger than that one. Is it five eighths in there? It was a fairly simple kit. Getting this on there, the hardest part was the pedal for some reason. And that was just cause I had it ran out too far. All right, well, let's see what's up. left. A, a, a airline and a, it's like a vacuum line. Get this sensor. <laughs> then we have a vacuum line that'll run from here. Probably put it on the T because we still need that up to here. <laughs> Perfect. All right, well, y'all thanks for watching, and hope y'all enjoyed it. Maybe learned something, probably didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to call this video done for today, and we'll be back on the next one with, uh, we're going to install the brake lines and everything. And yes, sir. Make this thing stop, finally. Maybe take it down the road. But y'all like and subscribe. Thank you.